Hi, hello and welcome to another edition of China Teacher, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in China. Today, we're going to talk about how long is a school day for kids in China, so that you're able to understand how much effort they have to put when you go to your English class. So, we're going to talk about their schedule and the extra activities that they do when they don't go to school. So, if you want to know a little bit better how much they have to go through, don't go anywhere and see you at the other side of the intro. Be a real bad boy. Welcome back guys, we're here in Colombia shooting another one of these videos um, and what I want to talk about is what I've seen for example my nephews experience when they go to school. Um, they usually go to school from 7 o'clock until perhaps 1 o'clock in the afternoon and that's very similar to what I used to do. I used to go to school um, around, we started classes like around 7.15 and around 1 o'clock we would be off and catch a bus back home and that's it, we had the whole afternoon off. This went on all the way through middle school and high school. Now, what I want to talk about is how is it for kids that are 12 years old, 13 years old in China, okay? So, let's go right ahead. Well, an important thing to remember is that most kids that study in China, they go to schools that are room and board. So, they eat and sleep Monday to Friday, some of them Monday to Saturday at school. So, they don't get to go home, they don't get to see their parents. Um, they have to do the homework at school and so on and so forth. So, it's a little bit different from what most people here in Colombia do. In China, if you, when you are already a teenager and you're going to high school, so around 14 years of age, you only go home Saturday after 12 o'clock and you have to go back to school Sunday around 5 or 6 o'clock. So, these kids only have about a day off, so half Saturday and half Sunday. So that's that's pretty pretty heavy load for for kids. But let us take a look at uh, what does a day look like. So most kids will start class around seven o'clock. They they do some morning exercise at school. So this is all organized by the school and different groups, different classes go to different places and they do their morning exercises. Then there's breakfast and they usually start class around eight o'clock. Um, they will have several lessons during the morning, usually lessons are about 45 minutes and they have about 10 minute lessons, uh, sorry, 10 minute breaks in between lessons. Um, they have one long break, about a 20 minute break um, um, in the morning um, and then they go to lunch at around 11.40. They usually Around lunchtime they have a very long break, uh, so lunch starts around 11.40, 11.45, they have lunch and then they go have, um, they go have a nap. This nap finishes around 2 o'clock when they begin the afternoon sessions. They will have a very similar setup in which they have 10 minute breaks in between lessons and then they have a longer 20 minute break also in the afternoon. So by 5 o'clock or 5.15 they're done and they go to have dinner at school. This break is not that long, they usually come back to class at around 6.30 or 7 depending on the school and this is called personal study time or self-study time. Sometimes there will be teachers who go there to help them with their homework or to teach them some additional lessons if there's some material that needs to be covered. So these kids will study in the evening again from probably 6.30 to 7 until around 9 o'clock. It's a pretty, pretty long day for the kids. After that, well, they have a little supper, they eat a little something, shower in the evening and go to bed. There's an interesting thing about China is that um, most kids stay in one classroom. When I went to school, um, we had lockers. So basically, the students would go to the teacher's classroom. It was the teacher's classroom, not the student's classroom. What does that mean? When you had math, you had to actually take your bag, take your books, take your pencil case and go to the math classroom to see the math teacher. So we had about a five minute break that would allow us to go from one classroom to another. Then you had geography class. Then again, pack up your things, go to your locker, take up your geography book and go to the, the teacher's classroom. Here in China is, is different as I mentioned, is the student's classroom. So the teachers are the ones that come and go uh, to different classrooms. Um, so their breaks are all to themselves. They actually can 
either drink some water or maybe take a short nap or anything. So it's, it's a little bit different from America or from Colombia. So we already talked a little bit about how, about how it is Monday to Friday for these kids, some of them Saturday. What happens on the weekend or in the time off? Well, most of these kids will go to vocational lessons. So they have piano lessons, they have calligraphy lessons, they have English lessons, they have, I don't know, ballet lessons, all kinds of activities um, to keep the kids busy. And that's an important thing. How effective is it to study for such a long time? I studied from when I was a kid from seven o'clock or yeah, seven o'clock until one o'clock. And did I learn more or less than the Chinese kids learn? I don't know. I'm doing pretty well in life. So I, I, I don't really know why they need to study for such a long time. I don't really think it has to do with learning on education. I, I think it has to do with, well, the particular problem of Chinese society. Mom and dad are busy working, nobody to take care of the kids at home. So just send them to school, keep them there, it's a safe place, uh, and they don't have to worry about that. That's, that's my understanding, that's how I see it. That's, that's the logic that I see behind it. If I'm wrong, if I'm incorrect, maybe you guys can help me out and, and let me know whether, whether there's another explanation. But to me, it seems, completely unnecessary to study for such a long time. So in conclusion, as you can see, most of these kids, they're doing seven to eight hour days of learning um, Monday to Friday, sometimes, as I said, um, Monday to Saturday. And uh, well, the question remains, is it effective? Is it necessary? Or is it just daycare for, for teenagers or, or young kids? So guys, that's my question of the day. Do you think that, well, this, this long day of studying, does it have any benefit uh, to the learning of the students? Or is it just, well, a response to the realities of China and it becomes nothing more than daycare? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And as always, please like, comment and share this video to your heart's content. And see you again on another video. Bye for now.